types of school outfits. Now in high school, you come across a variety of different types of outfits. Some that are actually respectable and others that will make you question the sanity of someone. You can tell a lot about a person simply by the piece of clothing they choose to put on their body. You can tell whether someone has good fashion sense and knows how to put together a nice fit or whether someone is legally blind and struggles to simply put on matching colors. You know how in school they tell you to never judge a book by its cover? Well, that's a fucking lie, my nigga. Because today we're going to be judging all the different types of outfits people wear in high school. And with me being the absolute drip lord that I am, I feel there is no one else better or more qualified to judge these school outfits than me. So first we got what I think is arguably the worst type of school outfit, the emo outfits. These have to be some of the ugliest and some of the most goofiest outfits in high school. And what's so ironic is that people who wear these types of outfits try so hard to look different or look misunderstood. Bro, you look like a fucking depressed goofball. These emo outfits will usually consist of chokers, chain bracelets, and an ungodly amount of piercings around their entire body. I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, but you can definitely tell that people who wore these outfits definitely didn't get enough love and attention at home. I mean, what parent that remotely gives a damn about their kids would ever let them walk out the house looking like this? They also used to wear these fat ass military boots that would go up to their knees. Lord forbid you ever get your foot stepped on by one of these boots. These boots could single handedly shatter every bone in your foot. These shits look more like weapons than shoes, my nigga. Next, we got the menace outfit. This was the outfit that would strike fear in your heart just by looking at it. Simply because you knew anyone wearing this outfit was a no good criminal. You knew that anyone wearing this fit was looking to hit a lick or spin on the ops. The students that wore the menace fit were the kids that were constantly suspended, constantly in detention, and never showed up to class. Whenever you heard there was a fight at school, you knew for a fact that this kid was probably one of the students fighting. The menace fit consisted of black air forces, blue jeans that were way too tight and didn't even fit properly, and some dirty ass Nike tech jacket that hasn't been washed since quarantine. And every now and then you might see them wearing a shiesty mask. I always believe that people who wore outfits like this should be sentenced to 25 years in prison. Even if they haven't done anything wrong, they should still be thrown behind bars anyway. I'd rather be safe than let this potential demon roam the halls of my school. The menace fit was a fit that symboled mass destruction and violence against humanity. What made it even scarier to be around people wearing shit like this is that they'd always walk around with their hands in their pockets. Like why are your hands in your pockets my nigga? What is there that's so valuable in there that you have to keep your hands glued there? I don't know about y'all but whenever someone looking like this was around me I'd make sure to keep my head on a constant swivel. I'd be damned if the school menace was going to ever catch me lacking but there's honestly not a single thing scarier in this universe than someone wearing the high top black air forces. This is what I like to call the super saiyan version of the original menace fit. You know the menace fit on its own is terrifying but the super saiyan menace let's just say your fate has already been sealed. Next we got the trish outfit. Now I can't lie this has to easily be one of my personal favorite outfits in high school. The trish outfit is the outfit that all the sluts in the school wear. You know that one female that's known for giving that gawk gawk in the back of the school stairway. That one female who was known for being quote unquote best friends with every nigga on the varsity football team. That one female that got all her nudes leaked to the entire school. Yeah I'm talking about those females. This is an outfit that pretty much shows off all the amazing personality that some of these females in school have. These are the girls that will come to school with shirts that show off all types of cleavage. Booty shorts that damn near could be classified as panties themselves and weaved a little like it was one more head pad away from falling out. Now because of the horny ass nigga I used to be, you would never see me complaining when girls used to wear these fits. Outside of the fact that it's easy to tell the people who wore these outfits have daddy issues and if we're being honest we all know that the reason why some of these females wear these outfits is because they know it will give them easy attention next we got the hype beast now this was the nigga that came to school wearing nothing but designer clothes every day if it didn't have a price tag of at least 500 dollars plus they weren't wearing it simple this guy was an absolute tryhard when it came to trying to dress for school this was the type of dude to come to school wearing the miri jeans a dior hoodie and some balenciaga shoes these niggas used to dead ass come to school with no less than thousand dollar outfits on this was the guy that was gonna make sure you saw that v-loan symbol on the back of his shirt the saddest part about the hype beast dresser in school was that even though this man came to school with thousands of dollars worth of clothing on he'd still managed to put together a god awful fit bro thought just because it was designer that meant that his fit was automatically dripped just a little tip for all you designer wearers out there just because the clothing is expensive doesn't mean it's a good fit some hype beasts also have a tendency to wear fake designer to school as well i'm talking about that designer you get from the back of the gas station i'm talking about that gucci that starts with a c coochie wasn't anything funnier than when niggas used to walk around with fake supreme shirts on now i gotta be real with you wearing fake designer to school is a sin that not even god can forgive like there's absolutely nothing wrong with wearing the old reliable walmart fit that costs 30 bucks there is not one and i mean not one single reason why you should ever stoop as low as to buy fake designer next we got the just woke up fit or you could call this fit the i don't give a damn i just want to go home fit i think everyone knows at least one person that wears this exact type of fit now this was the person that would put little to no effort into getting dressed for school they will wake up and pretty much come to school 
school in the exact same clothes that they went to sleep in. You commonly see these people wearing food stained white t shirts, hell, maybe even a jewel stain here and there, some pajama pants that are at least two sizes too small, and some beat up ass crocs that look like they've experienced some of the worst shit known to man. I kid you not, there was a guy who went to my school that would constantly wear Christmas pajamas to school. Like, nigga, I get you're just trying to be comfortable, but goddamn, Christmas pajamas, really? They just woke up for was easily the laziest type of outfit you could have in school. Now, let's be real. We all have those days in school where we don't really feel like trying, where we say the hell with it and pretty much put on the first set of clothes we see in the closet. I mean, no one wants to pull up to school dressing like it's a goddamn Vogue model shoot every day. I am someone who will proudly admit that I never cared about being the most drippiest nigga in school. I mean, I'm here to do my work and go the fuck home. That's it. But at the same time, there's no way in hell you're about to catch me looking like this. Showing up to school, looking like you haven't even taken your morning showers on another level. Next, we got the anime outfit. This was the nigga that would come to school wearing those disgusting disgusting ass anime graphic tees you know the ones with a giant picture of goku on the back yeah i'm talking about those aka that i get absolutely zero bitches fit i couldn't think of an outfit that screams i'm a loser more than outfits like these these were the niggas you'd see roaming the halls with the my hero hoodie these were the niggas that would come to school dripped out in that pokemon attire these were the niggas that had those terrible waifu book bags now granted i'm no fashion stylist or anything but you have to have an undiagnosed mental problem to ever wear something like this when the world could have went through your head that made you think to ever put this on your body whenever you ran into a nigga rocking an anime outfit Outfit, you always knew to slowly back away because only God knows what the nigga with an Attack on Titan t-shirt is capable of. And don't get me wrong, I've seen some anime fits that were actually fire, but the vast majority of them suck ass. You know, I guess it's cool to rock shit like this when you're like six years old and a little ass kid. You know, when you're dumb as hell and really have no sense of fashion or style. You know, I could give the little niggas a pass for wearing this abomination. But if you're over the age of 14 in high school, why the hell are you still buying clothing like this? Why do you have this innate desire to embarrass yourself and everyone that knows you? People walk around with this goofy goober ass shit on. Do you have some type of humiliation kink or something next we got the cowboy outfit this is a fit i'm very familiar with seeing as i'm from the south seeing as the south is filled with nothing but country ass niggas the cowboy fit was the fit that all the country ass kids in school used to wear these be the motherfuckers with the thickest and i mean the thickest southern accents you've ever fucking heard the cowboy fit consisted of overalls those big ass cowboy boots and the ugliest flannel shirt ever and lord forbid they actually came to school with the fucking cowboy hat on if you were someone that actually used to wear a cowboy hat to school just know i hate you you dead ass would have thought these niggas just got done riding around on horses or some shit pretty much these niggas come to school looking like they're doing a cosplay of woody from toy story and they always smell like grass and cow shit for some reason people who wore the cowboy fit also had the tendency to give off redneck vibes as well what confused me the most about the cowboy fit was why in the hell did we even wear this like bro there's no way in hell you're gonna tell me that wearing these tight ass overalls in school is even remotely comfortable next we got the sporty outfit now the sporty outfits were the outfits that mainly the student athletes would wear it pretty much looked like they were about to go on a morning jog whenever they would wear outfits like this these outfits were usually the nike track suits the compression shirts and some type of athletic joggers and they would always wear some type of comfortable running shoe hell i know some athletes that wouldn't wear shoes at all they just rock some comfortable slides to school the sporty outfit was really just an outfit that the athletes wore in order to relax their body they would even sometimes just wear their own jersey around school you would mainly see them wear fits like this on game day or the day before game day i guess as a way for them to just get comfortable and ready to lose i mean get ready to play against the team but that's about it for this video if you guys did enjoy please don't forget to like subscribe if you are new and uh yeah that's about it See you.